What approaches do you use to hold others accountable for their actions? Uh, you know, accountability isn't about um, doing the postmortem. You know, accountability is about uh, setting expectations. I think more than more than any anything else, right? And it's and it like most things, like trust, like a lot of other uh, really important foundational uh, pieces of a work environment or any sort of relationship. Um, it's about setting expectations and and um, you know, creating an environment that makes people want to uh, live up to those expectations. So, uh, you know, in a work environment, it's about um, whether it's with a you know a, you know a direct report, or whether it's with a colleague, or whether it's you know uh, an, an external group that you're working with. You know, it's it's really about being very clear on what the expectations are. You know, what it might take to get there, and then about you know the importance of of why this specific piece of work needs to get done, or why this specific action needs to be taken. Uh, and if, um, if someone falls short uh, of, of those expectations, you know, you, you correct it. And you correct it in a way that is constructive and not punitive. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, hopefully, if you take those little steps day by day, you don't have to get to a point where any sort of behavior is, or any, any sort of correction is, is punitive, uh, whether it means like termination or, you know, uh, you know, breaking off of a relationship or whatever it happens to be. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, accountability is directly related to expectations that are set and the maintenance of, of those expectations on a day-to-day -day basis.